smoke on. Hi folks, welcome back to my den. Today we've got something special for you. Something I've always wanted to try and I finally got one. Basically it's a extender for a barbecue, 57 centimeter barbecue, it's a round ring and you can use it for extending the barbecue for extra space there but it's also got a diffuser plate and a charcoal ring so we can use that for putting our charcoal in you cover it yeah with, with, put, put some smoke wood in you cover it with the diffuser and then you can use that for smoking and you've got that extra 10 10 inches or so of space so you can put, put like two grates in there so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be smoking some pork cassler joint so it's, it's a pork chop joint which we call a cassler and it's a it's similar to a gammon ham slightly different different flavoring and so it's been curing now for about 10 days had it in the fridge for a couple of days just to get nice and dry and now we're going to smoke them today righty ho so there is my new toy that's what comes as the kit You've got the diffuser plate then the charcoal ring a grate for putting your meat on and then the extension ring itself which really is going to make a massive difference you can get two grates in on your on your barbecue or your smoker if you put it upside down i think it will also fit on my my 57 centimeter smoker there so we'll just have to have a look and see how it all goes. Right, I'm going to use my green kettle today, my Weber kettle. But before we use it, we've got to unhook the lid. Now, I have these hinges on all of my kettles. It's called the Unknown Barbecue Hinge. And it's also from Pro Smoke barbecue in this country in the uk you can get them from other places all over the world but in the uk it's pro smoke barbecue and that's the same company that's given us the extension unit to to use today so i've got some more of these hinges i've got to put it on two of my smokers my 47 centimeter smokers so i'll do another video about fitting those very easy to take off remove the pin and the lid comes off so that's all we got to do for that and now we can start using it okay folks as i said we're going to be using two grates today we'll use the grate from the from the barbecue and then the one that's come with the unit as well so first of all we'll put in our charcoal ring there nice and central in there we'll then pour some whip. Weber briquettes in. We'll say that'll be enough. We will put a little pipe in the middle to create the minion method of smoking where we will get some 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 charcoal ready in the charcoal chimney starter. We'll pour it into there and then we'll take this out and it'll then just go around with a bit of heat. Right, so that's that's gonna be the minion method. We could have also done it as a snake method where you put a little row of briquettes all the way around without having this in the middle all the way around like that and then lighting putting some litten charcoal in the beginning and it'll then keep going around like that called a snake but we're not going to do it that way we're going to put some apple chunks of apple wood in for the smoking not too many i'll use four they probably all won't burn um let's use four like that we've got to get them a bit lower because of our cover that will come over later so that's going to be ready for putting our hot charcoal in and then it'll just burn outwards like that there's two ways you can use the diffuser plate once the charcoal's all going 
I've just taken the, our little minion pipe out of here for now. Once the chocolate will go, you can place it on top there, and then the smoke and that will just come around and come out. You can then put your your rack, your extender on top, and use the one grate. Plus, you can then also use the second grate. Hope you can see it here on this unit there. So you can get your second grate, which comes off the barbecue itself. You can put that at the bottom and then you can use the grate that comes with the unit on top and then you put your lid on. So that's what I'm going to do today. There's another way though, if you just want to use one grate, you can put your diffuser plate sitting high up there and then your grate sits on top. So you're just using the one grate. So that's basically a way of doing it just with one grate or two grates and then if it's here like that you can then also put a water pan inside a water dish and if it's lower down like what I'm going to do today I'm going to put a grate on top of there first then a water dish because I don't want the the heat right up against the underneath of the the water pan so it'll really start boiling because it'll be touching the the hot diffuser plate so that's what that's how i'm going to do it today so let's just strip this all down again and put our little minion pipe back in so that'll be ready for putting our charcoal in shortly right so our Charcoal starter is ready. I'm going to pour that in there. I always use gloves because you can get burnt quite easily. Then, shovel that round a bit. Take that off. Get our, some of our smoke wood close up there. Right, so that's all nice and ready. So basically now all we're gonna do is put our diffuser plate on top and there we'll put our water water pan in and we'll wait now for this to start getting nice and hot I'll go and get the water we'll get the meat open our vents and let, leave that for about 15 minutes just to heat up nicely okay now time to get going I think let's get that hung up there Need some water in the water pan. Right. We'll put our two trays in. meter probes and four of them to keep track of the temperatures I'm going to take it to the internal temperature of around about 100 and about 150 degrees Fahrenheit basically cooked just about cooked and then because they're going to be cooked again anyway once the people get them so we can close that up now vents or open the bottom vent We'll probably put about a quarter open, try and maintain the temperature to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 225, 250 Fahrenheit thereabouts. So that's what it looks like now. It's all going. Nice stainless steel extension. And that's now all set up for smoking of my Kessler joints. I'd like to just thank 
Pro Smoke Barbecue once again for sending it to me because I've always wanted one because I do a lot of a lot of smoke, meat smoking and cooking so it's going to come in really handy especially when I can put it on top of that big smoker there just get an extra two grates in which means then I can or probably have about six grates at a time because I already have a couple of mods inside that big one to take four grates but today it's all about the extension and that's really going to to do well right they are basically ready oh those are looking good those are really looking good look at that color on them Righty ho, so they're ready. They look beautiful. Oh wow, they, they really look nice. The smoker has really worked well, it really has. Very pleased. And I'm going to try and see if this will fit my big smoker, but I'm sure it will. So time to take them off. So now we will let these just cool off over the next few hours just in, in the breeze here and then I put them in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow I will get them in the vacuum vacuum machine and va vacuum seal them all ready for selling. So that's our Kassler joints done. Loved the new smoker so very pleased. So there's my Kassler joints all ready cooling off nicely and they'll go into the fridge tonight and then throw it in the freezer tomorrow okay folks so my big 57 centimeter smoker the 22 inch it comes with two two racks smoking racks in obviously the meat racks I can fit three in because I've got some little pieces of pipe which I put inside like this Got a few different sizes of that and then I get another internal rack which is slightly smaller so it'll fit in and then the big rack the normal rack goes on top so that's now three we've got we can then also get on top there top there to make four racks when I'm doing my kielbasa sausage, which is small, you can get a lot of sausages in there. So, with my extension, so that's three there that we've got now. And this extension, brilliantly, just turns upside down. Because the smoker, top of the smoker and the top of a normal barbecue is different. So this you turn upside down. You can then get these inside. that so that's four racks we then get our top rack which is five and if you get two more of those half ones you can put them on, on top here to make six racks so this is going to be absolutely magic for me I make a lot of the smoked Polish kielbasa sausage and so that only needs a little space like that so now I'll be able to have six racks instead of four so that's another half a smoker using the same amount of smoke and charcoal and everything and, and whatnot it's 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 going to be quite a savior it really will be 
I'll be making some kielbasa in the next few days, so we'll give it a good try out then as well. Okay, folks, so that's it. Let's show you with the lid on. So, it's a lovely new smoker, that. Right? Nice and big. Here's a close-up of the little pipes that I use inside the smoker, or I've even used, got a couple of short, short little ones to go on the, on the barbecue, so I can do a, a second layer on the barbecue as well. Um, it's just a piece of pipe. That's 80 mil. I've got some that are 100 millimeters, and I've got some that are 50 millimeters, so I can play with different heights all over the place. Really so easy to do. Now, that's what you would call a nice massive big smoker six racks in there and it's going to work brilliantly it really will another lovely day in the barbecue world smokiest world today had fun again as always please like and subscribe the subscribe to the channel like the video and we will see you in the next one